hello. We're going to do some writing together. So be sure you have a piece of paper. A blank sheet of paper is great. Make sure you have a pencil and then something to color with as well. Okay, excellent. The first thing we're going to do is think of something fun you've been up to that you could tell as a story. So I'm going to give you a second to start thinking something fun that you could tell us as a story. Right, are you thinking of some ideas? Let me tell you my story. I went apple picking with my kiddos at home. So we drove to the apple farm or orchard and then we got to ride on like a little hayride thing on the back of a tractor. And we got off of there and we got to pick the apples and they showed us how to twist them so that we could pick them off of the trees. So we filled up a big bag with all of the apples. On the hayride bag, we started munching on the apples and oh my goodness, they were delicious. They were crisp, they were sweet, they were so yummy. And then guess what happened? The bees came, and they wanted those apples, too. And they were flying around us, and oh my goodness, they wouldn't let us be. We were fine, and they were fine, but it was a little bit silly. All the bees could smell those yummy apples, so I think next time I might wait to eat them until we get home. But we had lots of fun apple picking, so now I'm going to draw a picture of my apple picking story. I want you to draw a picture of your story, but it should be something that you did. So a good way to start the picture is drawing yourself, okay? And I know we've been working on how to draw ourselves or draw a person. So I'm going to try doing it like this and hopefully you'll be able to see it well. The first thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and write my name. I'd like you to use your pencil and on the top of your paper, write your name as neatly as you can. Try starting with a capital letter and then using lowercase letters. So I'll write my name, Mrs. Malazzo. And you can write your name. Once you've finished writing your name, get ready to draw yourself. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to start with my head. Draw that nice circle. Think about what color you might use for your face. Think about what color your eyes are. I've got blue eyes, so I'm going to draw blue eyes. Now I need a nose. Okay, and a mouth, and I was pretty happy, so I'm going to smile. And you could add your ears. And then I need some hair, don't I? And my hair is curly, so I'm going to draw my curly hair. And that's kind of a brownish, blondish color, so I'm going to add just a little bit of yellow to mine as well. Think about what color your hair is and how you would color that in. Now I'm going to give myself a neck. Sorry if this is bouncing around a little bit. And then I'm going to do my shirt. Good way to start with the body is if you do a line across and then you can do a rectangle like that. And then I can give myself some arms, do a line and another line and connect it. So it's like another little rectangle, a line and a line and connect. I'm going to make my shirt striped. You can make your shirt however you want. 
Feel free to hit pause at any time during the video if you need a little more time when you're working on your drawing or your writing. Okay, now I need some hands, don't I? So again, think about what color your hands are. I like to start with a circle and then add my five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Circle. One, two, three, four, five. Yay! And now I'll give myself some pants. So I need a leg here and a leg here. And then I can do another line and another line. Okay. It's almost like two more rectangles, huh? And I'll color those in. Take your time. Do your very best. How's your person looking? Pretty good? Now I need some shoes or sneakers. I'll do some purple ones. And to do that, I just kind of do like an oval. There! There's my person. Now I was apple picking, wasn't I? So I'm going to put an apple in my hand. Nice, juicy, red apple. Now you're not necessarily going to draw an apple because you're going to draw what you did. So now that you've got your person, think about what other details you could draw to tell your story. I need my apple. I need... Some apple trees, right? Let me draw an apple tree. Sometimes I have kids ask me, how do I draw this? I'm not sure how to draw this. And I'm going to tell you, drawing is something that's always been a little tricky for me, but I just try my best. Okay? Just try your best. Okay, you'll be able to tell us what the story is, and you'll know what it is you drew, and I bet when you tell us about it, we'll be able to tell what it is too. Okay? Think about what colors might make sense. So I've got my red apples on my tree. I'm drawing the green leaves on my tree. Are you drawing all the details in your picture right now? You could draw who you were with. You can draw what you were doing. Maybe you were playing with a friend or a sibling. Maybe you went somewhere fun. Maybe you did some grocery shopping or played outside. There we go. And I'll color in the bottom. See how I'm trying to do lots of nice details? And then it was kind of a little bit of like a dirt path there along with some grass. Here's that. Give it some grass too. Take your time. Do your best. I'm trying my best. And then what was it that when I started eating the apple started to pester me? Do you remember? The bees. So we got to include a bee on here, don't we? Now I'm going to be honest. I've never drawn a bee before. I'm not exactly sure how to do it, but I'm going to try my best. Just like I'd like you to try your best. Give some little wings. Give them an eye. And there's my bee. Perfect. I could add 
a couple of clouds. I could add the sun. Okay, add all those nice details in your picture. So you can talk with a grown-up at home about what it is you are drawing about and they can help you think of some details or additional things to include in your picture. Okay, so right now I'd like you to continue drawing until your picture is able to show your whole story. Okay, so just hit pause until you're done with your picture. All right, is your picture done? Now we get to do our writing and label our picture. The first thing I'm going to recommend you do is you label yourself because you already know how to write your name. So you're going to write your name and label yourself in the picture. So I'm going to write my name in pencil. We always do our writing in pencil. I'm writing my name by my picture. Pretty good. Now, you're going to need to think about the things in your picture that you want to label. So, for example, I'm holding an apple. I'd like to be able to tell about that apple in my picture. Oh, there's an apple right here. It must start with A. So, I'm going to write A for a apple. And look, here I have a B. B, B, B. There's the letter B. I'm going to label the bumblebee with the letter B. Again, using my pencil. Hmm, what else could I label in my picture? How about the tree? T, T, tree. Hmm, what letter would make that T, T, T? My toothbrush. T. I'm going to write a by the tree. Hmm. How about my sun? Oh, here's the sun. It must start with the letter S. I'm going to write an S by my sun. Hmm. How about k -k clouds? K -k -k. There's two letters that make that k -k sound, but it's one is a C. K -k -k. So I'll label the Clouds. Hmm. How about the grass? G, 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 like goose. And I'm gonna write that G by the grass. Excellent. I want you to work with a grown-up and use your alphabet chart to label yourself in the picture and to write the first sound you hear in the other items in your picture. Okay, so feel free to hit pause and do that. Once you've completed everything, I'd like you to please tell us about your picture. So first take a picture of what you drew and wrote about and upload it onto Seesaw. Then use the microphone to tell us about your picture. So here's what my story would sound like. One day I went apple picking. I went to the apple farm and I got to ride on the little hayride behind the tractor. And when we got there, I picked a bunch of apples. On the way back, I was so excited that I bit into an apple. It was juicy and yummy and delicious. But then the bees came swarming around because they wanted the juicy apple too. They flew around and around, but they never did get my apple and they left me be. When I got home, I was able to enjoy more apples with my family. But I think next time I might wait to eat the apple until I'm home. That's my story. And so when you record yours, tell about all the things in your picture. So I can also tell you I labeled sun, cloud, tree, grass, apple, bee, and myself, Mrs. Malazzo. So that's what you'll do in your recording. Keep up.
the awesome work. I can't wait to see your writing.